It is the Adam Friedland Show. Today is September 5th, 5th 20. Zero three. What if? Can you imagine? Two thousand three. That would be. A, that, that was when. That was. That was right around when people started laughing at nine eleven. I feel like regular yeah. people. I don't mean like comedians. When's that? Two thousand three. That's when the real edgy comics were like. No, they were dumb. Lol. With it. I think that's when like regular folks were like. Is it funny? That it happened. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? 2003, everyone had a British accent back then. Yeah. Everybody was Austin Powers, King of the World. Austin Powers 2, The Spy That Shagged Me. That hit theaters. In, uh, I don't like that British accent stuff. I don't like people say cheers. You don't like that? Like not literally cheersing. How did you tolerate those folks when you were there? In England? Yeah. England was pretty sick. It's, you like it's cool if you're British talking like that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, you don't like like... Hold on, I'll, I'll, I, know, I know exactly who you're talking about who says cheers. I don't like any of that. Yeah, I don't yeah, like... Yeah. Uh, there was... I was just uh, in Columbus this weekend. There was a gay waiter and he kept saying love. Mm -hmm. Like We called like, like you love? Any, anybody. That was like, a pronoun for... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was a guy when I worked at the... Uh, at the uh, like he was a scouser. <laughs> I worked at a call, uh, call center. And they, did, they started doing this thing. It was just technical support for, like, internet service providers. But they did this thing where you could upsell people on, like, fucking, like, Norton or some shit at the end of the phone call. And there was this uh, mixed-race guy. Yeah. Or, like, a very light-skinned black guy. And he would call everybody love on the phone. <laughs> and that guy... So we got paid, like, $10 an hour. Yeah. And this guy fucking was making, like, an extra, like, $7,000 a month by just sweet-talking people. Be like, all right, love, you, you know you need some antivirus on your computer. God damn. I had to do, I had to do call center shit. Yeah. It was unbelievable. I had we've, to call. Had, we've had the same jobs. Yeah, I had to call to... I worked at a car dealership and was cold-calling people to mm -hmm. see if they wanted to oh, buy right. a fucking car. <laughs> Has cold-calling ever worked for any industry? I, it ever? never worked for me once. Yeah. I didn't get one. Yeah. There were some, some guys I, could do it. I would call and be like... Hey, we want you because it was a list of people that have bought cars from the dealership. Oh, okay. So it wasn't totally cold calling, but it was still cold calling, being like, "Hey, we got a special offer. We're buying back the 2014 Camry mm -hmm. you bought." And they'd be like, "No, I'm not." Yeah, I, I did cold calling car. for the BSO, but that was like fundraising, so it's a little different. What was the BSO? In Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, of <laughs> course, of course, of course. Just yeah, wrong. of course. Oh, the BSO. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the BSO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said it. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Is that even a good orchestra? I don't think so. Baltimore no. Symphony? Fuck no. no. <laughs> they just got to be the they worst. They just play the Rocky they theme song. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only song we know. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've told this story before, but the, one of the worst moments of my life was sitting in that basement doing that that job and there was this guy Craig who's one of the ugliest people I've ever seen in my life <laughs> but he was like uh, he was like a, like an old school type of nerd he was like a pre Chris Hardwick type of nerd where there was you know yeah cool well not cool oh wait pre Hardwick pre Hardwick oh okay yeah so like he was into like DOS just, he, this guy was just a loser yeah, yeah. and and if he, hopefully he didn't he was into that. Linux <laughs> <laughs> but he's like he, no, uh, we, they, so you were allowed to go to any show you wanted for free. You got one free show that you could mm -hmm. go to at the BSO if you worked there. And they brought the brochures out for what was coming up that season. And one of the things they had, like, George Takai, like, fucking doing, like, <laughs> q and A. I I have no idea what it was. But they're, like, you know, they hand me the brochure, immediately goes into garbage. I'm not going to the orchestra for anything, you know. Um, but there were, like, the other, like, people in the call center, the little basement, you know, they're, like, looking through it. And I can hear Craig. He's looking through the brochure and just he loudly goes, Ooh, George Takai! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Fuck. <laughs> just the veins popping out from yeah. your forehead. Ooh, George Takai! <laughs> Trying not to make fun of him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyways, we got Shane Gillis here. Hey, what's Thanks, going on? Shane. Oh, Thanks, Shane. No, Thanks for Welcome to the here. Adam Freeland Show, by the way. Welcome, doggy. I'm a fan, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Welcome, doggy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been it's been really great watching you guys grow. Your monologues are getting fucking tight, dude. Mm -hmm. We got <laughs> the yeah. We uh we have something nice cooking from this weekend, but I don't think it's going to be ready for at least a week. But mm. 
I feel like the Adam people know. Me, Adam told me he shot 250 minutes worth of footage. Yeah. Oh, man. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. Without you. Yeah. I was no, 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 no. No. So 250 minutes of just Adam? It's Adam, and, I, well, nice. I don't want to. I don't want to blow. He's he's. It's probably got something. In you the shouldn't. Words. You shouldn't oh, have blown okay. up. There's special guests. That. It's exciting. Why? People love to know that somebody shot six yeah. and a half hours. Of yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a cinema for a verite ten, for, a, for a ten minute sketch. <laughs> it's going to be a cinema verite style. We shot an entire um, season, and we did yeah. it all in uh, th- on thirty five millimeter film. So we had to continuously mm-hmm. be changing the cassettes mm-hmm. over. Yeah, it was real pain. You know who does that is Terrence Malick. Has anyone did anyone compare you to Terrence Malick? Yeah, there were a lot of like leaves and fingers running through tall grasses and stuff. Mm-hmm. Sun poking through like a a, a forest canopy. Mm-hmm. Did a lot of that, you know, impressionistic style, mm-hmm. Malick style. You ever see Days of Heaven, Shane? No, great movie. What's great it called? movie. You like Days it. of Heaven? Days of Heaven. No, what happens? It's Shane uh, would like Badlands too. Yeah, Badlands is also good. Tree of Life. You ever see Tree of Life? He's no, this guy I heard who Tree, like I know who Terrence Malick is because he oh, did uh, fucking Thin, thin Red Line, thin red which line, yeah. Yeah, yeah. is the shit. Which yeah. is like, and he shoots like a ton of shit. Like Thin Red Line, I think like has the most legendary list of actors who are cut out of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like like huge. Yeah, yeah he's huge guy. He cut George Clooney out of a movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He gave George Clooney a line at the end of Thin Red Line. Yeah, yeah. He basically, I think for a long time, he was making a movie like every 18 years. Mm-hmm. And he was just like some psycho from Texas who like, you know, yeah. just... Tree but, of Life's like, isn't it about like, isn't there like dinosaurs in it? There, it there's gets one, into like there's the one creation one dinosaur. One, the and, uh, Somebody tried yeah. to sell me on this before and they were like, yeah, there's a dinosaur it's, in it. It's weird. That, the dinosaur thing is the only weird part because okay. it's like... It's just a guy the rest remembering of the movie, when he was younger. The rest basically. of the movie is... is Perfect. I mean, it's, it's really a, beautiful. The, the like, fucking thin red line, dude. When when the guy's dreaming about his girlfriend, yeah. when he's like about to die, yeah, mm-hmm. he's like, I can't wait to see you. And then it might that, be my favorite war that movie. Fucking letter, yeah. Mm. Woo, woo. Some fucking fly boys, some so Air Force good. guy. Days of Heaven. Days of Heaven's about a, a a couple. It starts off. It's like the fucking. It's I guess what it's They're like the nineteen hundreds yeah. or something. And the it's uh, it's like Chicago and fucking. Richard Gere is just works in a steel mill and he like <laughs> clocks his boss and kills him. Nice. And then runs away. So he has to go to the West. And then yeah, yeah. so then they just, him and the the wife and uh, I don't is it like yo no, his is, sister his younger sister. No, they're in a relationship and they pretend to be siblings, right? Isn't and that then, that little that little girl that talked like this? Yeah, who does yeah, the, VO the whole movie? Yeah, yeah, the girl who does the VO. And then Sam Shepard plays the guy that owns the house. Is he gets sweet on the the girl? Yeah. And he's looking nice too. Both those guys are very handsome. Sam Shepard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam Shepard has a weird face, or did, I guess. Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, but yeah, I guess are they they're homesteaders, right? They're just like it was like I don't know what homesteading. It's means. like when you just like there was like land that was no one's, and then you just run, and then you just say this is mine, and the government's like, okay, now that's yours. Like a reverse Native American sort of thing, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> yeah. And then there are guys the living says, on it. They're the like, the "What, says, the what do you mean?" People this? are saying, "Yeah, what the hell are you doing here?" Mm-hmm. No, it's mine. Yeah, um, that movie's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what, why do we bring that? Oh, yeah. So yeah, basically, I did shoot 250 minutes of Ter- Ma- Terrence Malick style footage this mm-hmm. weekend. And what do you think this is? How has this evolved the show? In what way? What is it? Are you questioning me publicly in front of our friends, the um, fans? I'm, inter- I'm interviewing you. Um, I think it's kind of falling in line of the stuff we've done before. Where we're kind of breaking out a universe outside of the eventual thing that the show is going to be, which is a talk show. Mm-hmm. We're kind of expanding the world. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's much of a departure from you know the cold open from last weekend but, but i think t- but it's 250 minutes long <laughs> yeah i mean my idea is that i'm not going to cut anything you know it's yeah. just going to be like even the parts where i tell someone to say something yeah I'll say it'd be funny if you, you sent me some text updates it seems like it was mostly you were like interviewing interviewing people you're gonna ruin the bit. You're gonna ruin the bit. I don't spitefully. think I'm, I don't think I'm ruining. This is what he's doing right now. He's ruining the bit. <laughs> don't you guys? Don't look at me. Dude. <laughs> I'm not. You're. 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 That's. That's what you're doing. Well, it's a show. I'm. That's I'm just sh- saying. I. W- we worked on something this weekend, and it's not ready, and it'll probably be ready in a week. How about and then this? you're like Shane. So you what think it was? Rigid airships will ever come back. 
What's that? When you think rigid like Zeppelins? Airships. Yeah, Zeppelins. No, I don't think so. No, never. No, I don't think. I don't think it was a very efficient yeah, means a, of... Me once it was actually thing. an extremely efficient means of travel. But it doesn't go very fast, does it? Or you have to like follow the, the air streams or something? <laughs> so I know your response. I know your answer. You want them back, dude. I want them back. You want the blimps back. He's yeah, talked yeah, about yeah. this frequently. I saw a blimp uh, this Saturday. It was pretty fun. Well, there's blimps and then there's rigid airships. There's a difference. Okay, Zeppelins. Yeah, yeah Zeppelins. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want to see some Zeppelins? I would love that. With the swastika. <laughs> With the swastika. Yeah, yeah. 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 Where, where, like, just for, like, air travel? They've yeah, got to be they're pretty cool fucking shit, slow. Dude. Imagine if, yeah, I mean, they're not super fast, but... Yeah. Why was the Hindenburg so famous? Because it blew up. But, like, why is that? We <laughs> still know. Because everyone died. Why was the Holocaust so famous? <laughs> well, yeah, because... Why is 9-11 so 11 famous? Because 11 million people died. The Hindenburg was just, oh, like, yeah. one blimp. He's the going, Goodyear blimp blew up. He's like, going all And people still now. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very generous. I said 11, yeah, right? Do you caught that? You caught that? Yeah, obviously I caught it, dude. <laughs> mm. You caught that? <laughs> Can you imagine how gay it would have been to be a gypsy that got Holocaust? Yeah, oh. no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> a gay guy that got Holocaust? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough one. Especially to be somehow to be a homosexual that wound up in one of the camps, and then you see the guards and the commandant, and you're like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, look at these Uncle Tom ass. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. You don't think I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with your shiny to, ass boots? Yeah. He's probably trying to get his hands on a yellow star, you know? Mm-hmm. Didn't they put, like, pink stars on those boys? They got, <laughs> I they got swear pink, to God, they got No, they got triangles. Stars. They got, they got triangles. triangles. Wasn't there yeah. some, like, online thing recently? There was some, like, discourse about, like, somebody wearing a pink triangle during... World War II to show solidarity or like to, to show gay pride. <laughs> somebody said that. Somebody online, they were like, they showed trans pride by putting a pink triangle and somebody had to be like, no, those were victims. Yeah, those were people <laughs> getting extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dealing with real persecution. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they weren't just, they weren't, they weren't doing like, like fucking Bennigan's flair mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> at, their, at their grocery bagging job. Well, yeah, I mean, it was just like because the video was tight of the Hindenburg. Was that what it was? Are you, I think it was like a transatlantic. Yeah, like it was a big deal. It was, it was a big deal was that cool. it was going to make it. It's like the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, it was like a Titanic. It's like this is people were pumped on this. They're like, oh shit, the Hindenburg. Yeah. This is about this to be cool. This is about to be a <laughs> thing. <fucking explode>. Yeah. <laughs> there were a couple. There were a couple of them because yeah, it's like it's it's the guy they had to use. So the rigid airships made sense in the United mm-hmm. States because we had helium. We yeah. could use helium. And they couldn't there's, use... There's this, what, hydrogen? Hydrogen. Yeah. And hydrogen is fucking... Yeah. You know, a sta- like, literally just static. <laughs> and the fucking whole thing blows up. That's what happened. It, that video is fucking insane. The video, the video is, is high. crazy. And once you, when you realize the scale of that thing and how quickly... Yeah, once it gets hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah how quickly... 35 people size, died. Yeah. 35 people died? Yeah, and there was yeah. like 110 oh, people on That's board. what I'm saying. Wait, how many... They survived? Yeah. 97 it's blimp, people... So it just sort of slowly... They're actually really safe. Even when they could blow the fuck up, it's like still pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, there were 97 people on board and 35 died. So people lived. Mm-hmm. And one guy died on the ground. <laughs> I got squashed. Yeah, yeah, he got smushed. I mean, I like James him in- Cameron should have done Hindenburg instead of Titanic. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. Just getting liked, fucked uh, up off the gas and fucking Kate Winslet in the, <laughs> in the blimp area. Just the Irish people that live in the blimp area. <laughs> they're, <not> even, <laughs> they're just surrounded by pipes. <laughs> they're like, we're, we're going to America. <laughs> we're taking a blimp to America. Those fucking fleas, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the video is super sick. Mm-hmm. I loved, I loved that that in in Titanic when they they, t- they show you the steerage and they just supposedly it's just Irish people doing black church down there, yeah, just dancing. <laughs> they're just having a good time. Yeah, they're not miserable. <laughs> right. They weren't like constant drunk fights. And yeah, rapes. right. Yeah, yeah. If you lock poor people into a basement, yeah, good things. They happen. make yeah, they make folk music. <laughs> yeah, they do jigs. Mm-hmm. So what else did you do this weekend, Adam? I just worked, I, you know, working on the show. Mm. On our show. Um, wow, it looks really nice on the Hindenburg. It looks real luxury. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did I do something? Uh, well, no. I guess, no. Oh. 
No. Okay. There's uh, ice on there. Yeah. It did look nice. Yeah, they had like a little baby grand piano. They had a modified look- grand piano because it was the, a regular one would be too heavy. Oh, really? So they had to build it out of, I think, like aluminum or something. That's so tight. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've convinced <laughs> me they should bring them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see Elvis? Yeah, I saw it a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. I fucking hated that movie. It was gay. That bothered it was me gay as hell. immensely. I couldn't believe it. I liked stop, it. dude. I liked it. It, it went on non, too long. It just didn't That's stop. That's the thing that's long. crazy about the movie is it's somehow like both too frenetic and too slow at the same time. It was a montage for three hours. Yeah. Of just... Mm-hmm. CGI backgrounds the whole time. It's like anytime he has a crisis too, he's like, "I gotta go hang out with black people." <laughs> <laughs> I like my that. mama's being mean to me. It's time to go hang out with a couple of blacks. <laughs> I like that it addressed the race stuff though, because they were dragging my boy for way too long, mm-hmm. saying that he was stealing. Well, that's what we needed. Because he was just the original Uyghur. He was like the he was the first guy who was like thought he legitimately thought he was black. Mm-hmm. I, I maintain then, that black people stole more from Elvis than Elvis stole from black people. I think that's fair. Yeah, I mean he did. <laughs> they should be thanking him. <laughs> yeah. uh, le- legitimately, I th- I believe that. Yeah. Because Elvis predates all of that 1970s shit they were doing with the. Like El- Elvis was Cadillacs? A yeah, I mean, they're still doing it. There's fucking, st- you still, <laughs> there's still the Steve Harvey suits. That's all Elvis. That is Elvis. That's not them. That's kind of true. Yeah. The shaking their dicks. <laughs> the shaking their dicks. <laughs> I think that's that like scene a, is amazing. Yeah, that was Where he's cool. like, he's the, damn, is that boy? He, like, he's so like he's the like, first hey, guy who's saying queer. <laughs> he just started shaking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> he just started, the guy's mad about it. It's it, fucking Walk Hard. It followed yeah. the plot no. of Walk Hard to a T. It's really mm. funny that that was like his invention was just shaking his shaking dick. Shaking his dick, dude. Yeah. yeah. People haven't seen that. People, I no. would be furious if I brought a girl to a show and the dude started shaking <laughs> I would his be dick. Pissed too. Yeah. I told, she started screaming. Yeah. I told she my dad like, I saw it and, and he was like, Well, you probably didn't like it because you don't understand how important Elvis was. <laughs> 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 He's like, If you're not going into it with that perspective of how important Elvis was for people of my gen- like you get you get that close to death, you get into your your, your later years. Yeah. And your brain just has to, to make any part of your life significant. And when you have nothing, it's just like, well, at least I saw Elvis. Elvis was pretty big. Yeah, at least I saw, at least I can go to my death. There was also, there was no buildup at all. There was no struggle in the beginning. It yeah. just starts, he's, he's Elvis. famous and good. Mm-hmm. And they're really, I don't, did I miss a bad part? He um, gets less famous in the 60s, and then he has his comeback special. Apparently that uh, Here Comes Santa Claus stuff, they just made up for the movie. I didn't get why they were talking about that so much. But I'll, I'll be honest I with think you. When I, like I said I, wa- I watched Elvis, I mean, I put it on, I fell asleep. Like yeah, I, think I, right? fell, I honestly, I think I fell asleep. I watched I the whole thing, and I liked it. I spent an hour, and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was just a music video the whole fucking time. I don't yeah. like when they bring modern music into like period pieces. Yeah, I usually don't. Other yeah. than and what they only they were only Django doing it. Was that was badass. But they only do it. And it's like whenever he's like he's like I gotta go to the busy neighborhood. Yeah, they play Cardi B. Yeah, right. When he's around black Meg people. Meg the Stallion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only Megan. it's when only he goes during, to, uh, it's only when Beale he's Street. it's only when he's binging on black people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, they really presented it like a like a drug addiction. <laughs> like he used to be addicted to black people and then. He got addicted to fucking Richard Real Nixon drugs? and yeah, pharmaceuticals. And yeah, yeah. Oh, was Nixon in it? I fell asleep. No, well, Nixon, Nixon wasn't in it. Nixon might think. not have been in it, but famously uh, Elvis was like a sp- yeah, an Nixon. early spokesperson for for the uh, war on drugs. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was like, well, Nixon yeah. thought like he's like, I want to like, get don't the- do drugs, kids. <laughs> yeah, he's like seven hundred pounds. Yeah, he's like sweating. he's right. washed up. His no fucking, kids like him. His yeah. one nostril inhales and the other exhales when he's speaking. <laughs> Don't fucking, don't ever do. You want to be like these, these damn uh, nincompoops doing these damn drugs. I always thought Elvis sucked my whole life. He does suck. I always thought that shit was truly bad music. It's gay. It's gay. I, I hated it. it. He's got some. The 50s he, are gay, dude. He's got it's good a gay stuff. decade. I, li- I've, I liked him. But I was I was parts in the movie in the beginning where I was like, damn, maybe Elvis is cool. Well, it's also too. It's, I was tricked a little. The dick wagging got me. Like I was laying there, but there was a part of me that was like, <laughs> it was an eyebrow raise that. while Elvis, I was laying on the couch. Elvis, it was one of these. Elvis didn't have any. Elvis didn't never wrote a single fucking song. 
He's just a performer. No, he wrote that one song. He there's a scene during the comeback special where it's a song that he wrote about how we need to bring the blacks and the whites together. He's never written a single song. Did he write that? No. He wrote. Dude, he wrote he's, the, he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he stole their old shit. It's like we gotta come on, guys. Quit <laughs> fucking around with these guys. <laughs> You guys are all right. <laughs> it'd be great. It'd be great if Elvis, like, instead of blacks, he just got really into Chinese people. <laughs> we are. Uh, you ever hear about the Chinese Exclusion Act? <laughs> you eat nothing but hound dogs. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, all this music is written by like two Jewish guys that live with each other. Yeah, I mean. Sinatra didn't really write yeah. songs. He but did Sinatra, but a lot of people do on. standards. And Sinatra's a completely different category. Why? He's a singer. But he's he did for Italians what Elvis did for black people. <laughs> black people. You have no idea how meaningful it was for them. <laughs> Dude, what? Italians? Sinatra, no, no. they make it pretty clear how meaningful. Oh, you no, mean for the, the blacks. For the African-American They're community. They're like, that's my boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's doing it for us. I mean, he did kind of do it. They weren't going to put a black guy up there. Like, he had to be the first guy to be a... To be kind of a black guy in inter- in show business, you know, they didn't want to put Chuck Berry came after Elvis, you know. Mm. They needed a white guy to do black music first. Yeah, he was mm. like Jackie Robinson. Yeah, yeah. He, he broke the color. Ja- he broke the color barrier. <laughs> he was Jackie Robinson, <laughs> not whoever did it first for sure. <laughs> him. <laughs> it was him, and he should get credit for it. Yeah, yeah, that's my point. Yeah, it's it's weird to think that Elvis inspired the Beatles. And then it's weird to he think inspired that who, all the, who the Beatles inspired. Everyone? Well, you know, like Cannibal Corpse would be like, well, we grew up listening to the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? How did, that, how did that go? How did you start there and end up with, uh, you know. With what? Fucking, like, <laughs> fucking a demon baby <laughs> with a sword after, a hey, after Hey Jude. You ever get into those, like, Norwegian uh, death metal bands? Black Norwegian black yeah. metal? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, obviously, the music I don't like, but mm-hmm. the the stories are pretty awesome. Where, who was that guy that killed mad people? Uh, There's that one guy. One dude killed himself, and they used it as the album cover, and then <laughs> <laughs> blew his head off, and they were like... Then they started burning yeah. churches and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sick. Was that Burzum? Was that the, I don't... Or Marduk? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty um, fun to change your name. Nick likes that crap. No, I don't. I don't like black metal. Really, you I mean, like there's some, there's some I like, but yeah, I don't. The, the only metal I like is the shit I listened to when I was in high school. So it's like Slayer or Metallica. It's like thrash metal or or garbage like new metal, like Chevelle. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what Chevelle is. You, yeah, you like two thousand two. Yeah, like two thousand three. Yeah, but see, that's that's my. Puddle I'm gonna be mud. I'm gonna be sixty five. You could be telling old. someone how yeah, fucking exactly. Pod. Was that's gonna actually. be my Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> At least I got to see Chevelle. Um, yeah, I don't. That that music was real. That was like one of the worst mm-hmm. genres. That, yeah, <laughs> it's, what it's, new it's, metal? It's gay. Yeah, it's the gayest kind of music. Bro. Yeah, no, it's just nostalgia. It's just like thinking about like going to Best Buy and being like, "Damn, what if I had PlayStation?" <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting CDs at Best Buy. Here, I'll just blow the vape at you. How about no, that? just give yeah, it back to me, dude. I don't like it when you... I'm producing vape for you. <laughs> I'm producing it. You're the producer. Yeah. So we missed out on, on Tim's... We missed on, yeah, Tim's, Tim's party. Tim's coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm gay. Yeah. What if he? What if he? What if Boz Lerman did a documentary about the Tim Dillon Labor Day party? <laughs> just Tommy Pope and O'Connor. Yeah, and yeah, Tim. yeah. Just zooming in on Tommy Pope, his shirt open. <laughs> I see. But that's why we need some video. spread. You got here, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this spread. You got any pops? I'm gonna have a couple pops. It's amazing. It's oh, amazing. Oh, this place. Yeah. He gets it's so excited incredible. about stuff. He does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. And then you make fun of him and he goes, What? <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that guy is so cool. Yeah, Tommy's funny as shit. He He's came so out to funny. me and the, the bros went to the Ohio State Notre Dame game this weekend. Really? And they lost. Did you drive? No, I flew. Oh, God. But they, uh, right when they came on the field, these four dudes in front of us. <laughs> I just started yelling that it was Safe Light Field because mm-hmm. Ohio State plays on – the name of their field is Safe Light 
there's safe light repair, safe light replace right yeah, in the yeah. field. Yeah. So I was like, woo, safe light field, baby. <laughs> this place is rocking. <laughs> These dudes tried to fight us the rest of the game. Dude. Really? Because they, they were insulted? They were offended. They were insulted that I was making fun of all the corporate. Yeah. Like, they'd be like, tough run. I'd be like, tough run brought to you by Kroger. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah I've told fun. this story before. It was back when me and Seth Cockfield were actually friends. Uh-huh. We went on a free, they used to have a free brewery tour in Austin of like some local brewery. And I, we had shot some sketch the night before, and I was in drag. So I just had like just makeup, like yeah. Mimi Bobek makeup on. And still like hungover, still kind of drunk. And we're on the tour, and the ladies, we're going, to, this lady's doing the tour, and she's taking us all the room. She's like, Well, this is a half of Eisen, so it has these notes, and you know, like all, all this dumb shit about Dog beer. Shit. And then, so me and Seth, as like a joke, we're like to ourselves, we're not even making a lot of noise. We're like, Uh, is there anything like Bud Light? You know? <laughs> <laughs> And there's this fucking guy with like a little like Guinness hat, like a Guinness newsy hat with his dad dressed exactly the same as him. <laughs> and they're it's standing there with their arms crossed. And at one point, this guy turns around. And he's like, you mind shutting the fuck up? <laughs> 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 We're ruining his brewery tour, his free brewery tour with his dad. Uh, an old woman in front of me during the game. It was just the beginning. I started yelling, safe light field. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this old woman directly in front of us was like, <laughs> she looked very old, like 80. Then the, the lady that was with her uh-huh. was like, could you please keep it down? You're screaming right in front. It's like, there's 120,000. <laughs> this is yeah. the loudest place I've ever been in my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are the poorest fucking sports of all yeah. time. I'd love, I'd love to put a lady like that on the Hindenburg. You know, yeah. Yeah. burn her to death. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's, the, she's probably a Nazi, you know? Yeah. Was it so you guys you guys lost? Do you to think Ohio? the Hindenburg yeah, the Hindenburg I'm gave sorry, him man. the idea for the Holocaust? <laughs> yeah, he's like this they is that they're like, what if we just did that? This is so <laughs> metal. Yeah, <laughs> this is so metal of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how's your team looking this year? You good? Yeah, they'll be all right. You top oh, twenty five? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were number five. They were number five before they this. were, but they'll drop to like ten. <sighs> they'll win. They'll win a couple games. They'll probably lose. There's Big Clemson coming up. I know you guys. Oh, Clemson. You guys are excited about Notre Dame Clemson. Oh my God! They yeah. still have. You guys excited for my fantasy football draft? In about ten minutes that I'm going to do during this podcast. <laughs> That's perfect, dude. Yeah, yeah. I need some advice. You guys got any tips? Who do you want? Who uh, I I went I went full sober from fantasy like six years ago. It oh, took really? over my life. Oh, really? Because you're watching, like, Cincinnati-Jacksonville fourth quarter yeah, in a blowout, fun. and you're like, I need this motherfucker the, to get that's three the whole point yards. Of betting. Yeah. That's the whole point of betting is to I know, be able to watch it, any sporting event and actually enjoy it. It just took – and then we do this, like, I was playing with a bunch of guys, and the, they had red zone, and I went once with my friend to his – like, he had, like, investment banking friends, and they would just they, – they'd do blow and watch red zone – like t- it sounds like the, like one one p.m. That sounds like the best fucking game of all like time. One p.m. Doing blow, playing so fantasy, many games, red zones every second. So many games. Holy shit! That must so have been many nuts, games. Dude. And it was just like you, you. But wait, when how, how, much, how much of that is just the cocaine though? When, no, but it's like when yeah, you're watching you toss in NFL red zone. That's when you're watching of, NFL red zone, you already feel like you're on coke because yeah. you can't pay attention to anything. Yeah, you can't. It's it's every touchdown. Mm-hmm. It's whoever's in the red zone, it cuts to that game. And there's like twelve games happening at once or something and then they have just like multiple screens going on you yeah. can't actually f- even focus on one mm-hmm. it's like your your brain is like so frenetic and then they're like adding cocaine into that yes. <laughs> it's just like some of the worst nights I've it was ever had chaos was due to like i'd have a sunday off or whatever from stand up and i'd be like nice i can day drink and watch football and then you stay at a bar for the late games and then there's the yeah i mean it's there's one o'clock four o'clock and then there's a late game and you know Next thing you know, you've clocked 12 hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Come on, guys. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. Fantasy football. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the Hindenburg. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we got? I'll think of some other dumb questions. <laughs> yeah, we got some more. What happened to the Chinese takeout boxes? The ones everybody loved, the little lantern boxes? Come yeah. On. I've, been, I've been working on a theory now that the, like, the, indicate, the number one indicator, number one metric to determine Chinese antagonism towards the West and their position is fully reflected in the state of takeout Chinese food in, in the United States. When was the last time you got a fortune cookie with your meal? 
last week no, for real. Never. Two weeks ago. No, it didn't happen. Two weeks ago. They gave Years us too many. Are you they claiming that they many. don't exist yeah, anymore? We're deleting this part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't. I haven't gotten a fortune cookie in forever. And I Have think you been it, ordering from the same place? No, different places, but seamless. It might have just been like when I started. Really? Was this here? Yeah, in Queens. Oh, we still got some pretty authentic. Maybe it's maybe it's because most of the Chinese places in Brooklyn are actually just Dominican. Yeah, Dominican probably. people that figured out how to make. Are Chinese. they? I think they're mostly Chinese people selling to black people. Why? There was one place I used to order from that was like Caridad Chinese. I remember that place. That was Dominican. It was yeah. good as shit. It was good as shit. It the plantains like, you know, were really yeah, good. Yeah, they would have. You get like General Tso's chicken and fucking plantain. <laughs> <laughs> They were really That's good. fucking nice. You yeah. used to work from that place all the time. Oh, yeah. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. And the portions were fucking healthy. Yeah. They gave you a lot of food. Yeah. 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 That's like bedside Chinese food. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Bed it's a decent Chinese. theory, though. Bedside Chinese, the Hindenburg. I'm reading a book about pirates right now. What's it really? called? I'm listening to it. What are you learning? Black Flags, Blue Seas. What are you learning? Uh, about just, Blackbeard? Yeah, Blackbeard's coming up. I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. But it's about, like, uh, I, I just didn't know how much, like, New York was a hub yeah. for pirates. Sick. Like, New England. Rhode Island. Really? Boston. Yeah. Yeah. And what did they, they put do? together they ships just... and go to the fucking Indian Ocean and rob the <laughs> Mughal Empire because they were Muslims. I love that. <laughs> they dude. waited until they, they found out they were all going on yeah, Hajj, yeah. on yeah. pilgrimage, and they would just crush their get, ships. Get the parrots together. We're about to go fucking <laughs> knock over some Moogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get that, the parrots. <laughs> isn't that how the Marines started? Didn't they have to like go over to Africa? Oh yeah, they did the Barbary states. Yeah, the Barbary yeah. states. Yeah, they had to go yeah, fuck North up Africa. Some, they had to break up the Africa. white slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> they said stop enslaving our people, but you know we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about the white slave trade enough. <laughs> but no one wants to talk about it. You want to talk about eleven million, dude? <laughs> That's eleven million. The Barbary states. What were they doing? The Barbary pirates. They're fucking shit up. Uh-huh. That's sick. Did you ever get into pirates, Adam? Uh, no. When was I, the last time you watched Master and Commander? Oh, I watched it boy, in the dude. last year. I love that movie it's, so it's much. It's so fucking it's amazing. Good. It's for us, dude. Yeah. It is. It's for a us. movie for us. They stopped making stuff for us. It's a yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's like <laughs> you know why? Chinese aggression. I mean, it Chinese actually arrogance. is kind of because of China. Yeah, Every, yeah I guess. Yeah, because yeah, it shit. is kind of. Everything has to be a dumb superhero. It Just, is their fault. Just exciting CGI, dude. That's what mm. they like. Yeah. They're like clapping at CGI. Yeah. <laughs> what pig are you? I don't know. We're about to find out, dude. Yeah, the beginning of Master and Commander is probably the best. The beginning? The bege- best beginning of any movie. Oh, man. I'm fucking... Oh, yeah. It starts off. It it's just so gives, sick. It gives you that, that background on the Napoleon... The 14th. In the, how many teams? I think 14. Well, that's sick. Because I won the league last year, but... You get two in a row. What is is first round strategy still? You you take a running back. Yeah, running back. But now I'm not gonna. Now I'm not even gonna like, be able to get a cool running back. You wouldn't get like Tyreek Hill. Does he put up numbers still? Is it a PPR? Uh, I don't know. I forget if it is a PPR. But Master Commander is the best. This yeah. is the best movie. <laughs> it's really fucking great. Dude. Days of Heaven, Master and Commander. Yeah, we're talking about James movies. Cameron's fucking Hindenburg movie. But we, yeah. could, we could revisit that. Maybe pirates are exciting, dude. Yeah. But you like yeah, it's pirates? Fun. You I think they're cool. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that's crazy. The biggest movie franchise in the world. The pirates. Fucking, pirates, pirates of the Caribbean movie. Yeah. Which Amber fucking, what's her cunt, took that away from us. Amber she cunt tried to take it away. Yeah. But it's back. It's funny how, like, no matter how bad a lady like that mm-hmm. fucks up, you can, still, you can still write an article in the Atlantic and be like, no, he raped her. <laughs> no, she she's right. He raped. Doesn't matter what the court says. He raped her, and if if I you agree that, with the jury, you're a misogynist. I guess there were people like psychos on Twitter being like, actually, he's an abuser. But I feel like most even girls that I knew were like, oh, she's a dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. Like I wasn't. I didn't. I don't think I've ever talked to anyone that was Team Amber. Yeah. Well, they exist online. I guess. So. And in the media. They're probably just Chinese soldiers at like a de- like thing of at like a fucking. Is the Chinese military good? Like they, there's just a lot of them. Their military probably sucks dick, right? Their commercials are sick. They yeah. they're killing us in the commercials. The commercials. Russia are Russia has good ass. ones too, though. Yeah, they're sick. You see ours? Have you ever seen that comparison video? 
Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. It's pretty yeah. great. It shows Russia's like, and then ours, which oh, is like a girl, girl turning into a cartoon yeah, she's and like, protesting. I couldn't wait to get my penis cut off and, and be a girl in the army. We used to be a country, For my guys. two moms. I know. I, before I left, my girlfriend was watching the new Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's a fucking black elves, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what are they doing? Are they called elves or they have another name? <laughs> Bl- elves. Like sh- sparks. Goblins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that hard. No, I'm just yeah. trying. This is Gremlins after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, there's a new Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I guess there's like a series. Those movies are gay. Yeah, they are gay. None of them are good. I've tried. I liked them when I was a, when I was a kid when they came out. I, I tried to, dude. I thought, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an effort to like this. And I... I, all three of them. I, could, I don't think I've ever finished a single one. It's yeah, they're long as shit. They're, but they're fucking boring, dude. It's, it's just not, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. How are the peanut butter pretzels, Adam? Really good. Yeah. Do you want to, can you say that into the microphone? No, they don't like when we, when we eat on well, the Well, I just meant say they're good. Into they're the good. Yeah. Trader Joe's peanut butter, peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Mm-hmm. Check them out. We got a Trader Joe's right next to the studio. That's we got big. everything we around go, here, we dude. Go <laughs> That's pretty big. Whenever we want, dude. <laughs> we got Chipotle. Mm. Yeah, I guess you guys Chick-fil-A, are in Manhattan, right? Best Buy. Yeah, yeah. You guys got a lot. We got a lot here, but you can't. Uh, you can't Bed, get Bath and Beyond. Y- you can't actually buy anything in Manhattan. That's the thing that's crazy. Why is that? Everything's a showroom. You want a filing? You want a chair? Not going to happen here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go to a store and get something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The does, Trader Joe's, does Trader Joe's lock up all their inventory? No, you can no. still get stuff at, at oh, the Oh, you can still trade. rob Trader Joe's. But, like, 